Alpha 1, radar log, declare bogey badge, check it, survive Bravo. Heading 313, 2 miles, 4,000, Badger, Costa. We've got an enemy ATOL way, chaff, chaff, chaff. Alpha 1, clear, clear, clear. Rolling in hot. Guns, guns, guns. Alpha 2, good tone, good tone. Fox 3, Fox 3. Head, fuselage, good shot, good shot. Alpha 2, Mike Trailer, we're going home. July 1943, the middle of the Second World War. Nazi Germany still controls half of Europe. The North African campaign by the British is over, and the Nazi Africa Corps have been driven out. Now that Africa is clear, Allied forces have decided to move in towards Italy, which was led by the fascist dictator known as Benito Mussolini. The island of Sicily was decided to be the first step in what became known as the Italian campaign. This invasion was codenamed Operation Husky. My name is Jeremy Brown. I was a pilot in the 5th Fighter Squadron at the time of Operation Husky, flying Spitfires. I kept my diary from 1940 onwards. July 11th. 43. Operation Husky began yesterday. I'm surprised I hadn't gotten any assignments on the inaugural date. I was told to take my Spitfire up with Gordon Harold, who was both my usual lead man and one of my greatest friends in the squadron. Victory flight, radio check. Victory two copies. Any units in the area of Waypoint, Quebec? This is the USS Robert Rowe. We have a visual and a formation of enemy aircraft which is northwest of our position. This is Victory Flight. We have enough fuel and ammo on board to assist. Send traffic. Victory declared bogeys two miles west of Waypoint, Quebec. Assembly group, three tanks. MC-202s, also. The Apache MC-202 wasn't a solid plane, but it was nimble. It could turn better than our spits, and we didn't want to get stuck in that kind of situation. Victory copies. Air cover on the way. is coming in hot.
We held off the matches for a while before the bomber slipped beneath us. My flight, as well as the P-51 is based in Libya, escaped with only some minor damage to our aircraft. I ended up scoring two kills, and Gordon got one. The SS Robert Rowan was lost when fires that were already burning got into our loads of ammunition. No hands were lost, and the ship evacuated completely before being spotted by any other Axis forces. Lucky bastards. It was the most combat we've seen in weeks. The only casualty of the day was a pilot in Texas flight who had to bail out when his wing flew off. I didn't find out his name, but we had a toast for him either way, to wish him good luck. I don't think I'd be able to survive making a landing out in these seas. The wildlife scares me more than the Italians we have to fight. Also, another pilot's wife had a baby this morning when we were taking off. So, of course, we had a toast of that, too. Reminds me of the lady back home. She must be scared out of her trousers right now for me. Pictures of planes blowing up helpless ships. Reminds me that you don't have much room for error out here. <laughs>